This is problem number one. It says Mario Ball is thrown down at an angle 30 degrees from the horizontal at 6 meters per second. He is thrown from a cliff of height 12 meters. How far does he land from the base of the cliff? And how fast is he traveling right before he hits the ground? First thing, draw a picture. And this is a 12 meter high cliff. So we got a picture, free body diagram. And for all projectile problems, just about all projectile problems, once we're in neglect air resistance, that's the free body diagram, which tells us a couple things. There's no forces in the X, so acceleration in the X is zero, and acceleration in the Y is negative 9.8. We sum the forces and solve for A, that's what we'd get. All right, next thing that I would do is I would draw the vector for the initial velocity and figure out its components. So it's thrown down. So this is my XY axis, and if you've ever gotten anything wrong for components, this is what I would do. Put the vector on an XY axis and label the angle. 30 degrees down from the horizontal. That's the 30 degrees right there. Uh, and then if you're doing it the automatic way, counterclockwise from the X axis, would mean you're using an angle of 330 degrees. So initial velocity in the X will be the 6 meters per second, which is the entire length of that arrow, 6 meters per second, times the cosine of 330, which in this case would be 5.19 meters per second. If you're doing it the automatic way, it takes care of the sign for you, if you're calling up and right positive, and that makes sense, because it's being thrown to the right. Right is positive. Initial velocity in the Y, the entire thing, 6 meters per second, times the sine of 330 degrees. And we get the y part as negative 3 meters per second. Does the negative make sense? Sure. It's being thrown to the right and down. All right. So now they asked us, uh, how far does he land from the base of the cliff? Well, that's a question of this distance, x minus x naught. But why does he hit the ground or what affects how quickly he hits the ground is the y direction. So we have to figure out the time. So I'm going to go ahead and get the time first. There'll be a part two.